Hi, welcome to Wellness. I am your host, Linda Lonigan, Senior Clinical Nutritionist. I'm here to show you the very best your community has to offer in health, fitness, well-being, and amazing people. Today I'm joined by Joe Adami, CPA, uh, a wonderful, wonderful man who's going to share with us today. Hi, Joe. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me here. I appreciate being here. Absolutely. So I'd just like you to talk about um, your life and, and what you've done. Whew. I've done a lot. Yeah. I've done a lot. So I got into accounting in a very interesting way. Um, after high school, I had no idea what I wanted to do. And so I joined the Army, and I thought that I would get some career path in the helicopter field because that's where I wanted to go. The Army thought I'd be make a better MP, so I spent three years being an MP, spent some time in Korea. When I came out, I still had no idea what I wanted to do. NYU had a two-day career guidance program, which consisted of um, consultations and interviews and aptitude tests. And when it was all done, they said I should be an accountant. So here I am. <laughs> I spent the last 50 years being an accountant, and I've enjoyed every minute of it. What I mostly enjoy, aside from the work, is meeting people. I get to meet so many different people, and I've established long-term relationships with many of my clients that have gone on for 30 and 40 years. I've got many that are multi-generational. I started with the parents that had the kids, and now the kids had kids. So I'm really trying to build this up to something really important. I know what's amazing, Joe, is um, I know we're, we're both part of a, a master network, mm -hmm. and every single time you come, you share vital information in terms that just doing taxes, all the law changes continually can be very confusing. Well, and it's, it's <clears throat> that's, tremendous help. That's part of what I feel is really my job at master networks. Mm -hmm. uh, there are lots of people that do taxes, and taxes can be kind of boring, but mm -hmm. what I'm trying to do is really present ideas for people to help them get to the next step and be better prepared for when they have to do their own taxes or present information for me that will help me do it for them. And you do that. And you do that. And I, I think it's absolutely amazing that you, you're inspirational. You continually try to improve on yourself when, when you shared that you started Toastmasters. You, you <clears throat> always want to be better and better. Well, this Toastmasters program is a very interesting program. I had a leadership training course in the Army that taught us, or supposedly taught us, how to speak in front of people. But that was a long time ago, and really what I remember most about that is that they said, make sure when you stand up that the buttons on your shirt are lined up top to bottom so people won't concentrate on that. They'll listen to what you have to say. But right. I really forgot most of what they taught, so Toastmasters is helping me get in front of people and talk about what I have to talk about and hopefully not forget what I have to say. Yeah, yeah. I had attended one uh, by uh, uh, Helena Roth and uh, Sammy Vercola mm -hmm. in their Toastmasters in Jefferson Valley. Right. And I also had one with Yana Gu mm -hmm. up in Carmel. And it was quite interesting. Well, I think this Toastmasters program is an excellent one. And it kind of melds in with Master Networks because mm -hmm. I've also gotten to be able to speak in front of people at Master Networks and present my ideas and hopefully people listen to me and, and appreciate what I have to say. Yeah, so. I, I'm, always, I'm always taking notes. <laughs> You're a wealth of information. And you've had a, 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 a wonderful life. You, uh, well, I have actually. Um, I, I started, un unfortunately, um, my first wife who I raised two kids with who are both musicians now, yeah. passed away, and I'm I remarried sorry. sometime later, and we'll be celebrating 35 years in that's May, so, which is really tremendous. That's, so no. thank you for that. Uh, no, that's wonderful. And um, along the way, we, um, we adopted a couple of children back in February of 91. We went to Texas, and we got a, a girl, a six-and-a-half-pound girl. We named her Lauren. And then a couple weeks later, we went to a different part of Texas, and we got a six-and-a-half-pound boy we named Matthew, and they're going to be 28 pretty soon. Wow. And my 27-year-old, our 27-year-old daughter just presented us with a granddaughter, three-and-a-half-month-old little baby girl. Her name is Bowie. That's After wonderful. the county in Texas where she was born, and we couldn't be happier. 
That, no, that's yeah. wonderful. Yeah. That really, really is wonderful. Yeah. And, um, and both of you uh, work so in harmony together, you and your wife. What is a, a, something relaxing that you absolutely love to do? Well, we've, we've gotten enthralled by the production of Les Miserables. Um, yeah. We saw it Wonderful. back in the 80s. Yeah. We saw it on stage. Yeah. Didn't really get too enthused about it at that time. But when the movie came out in 2012 with Hugh Jackman and Russell Crowe, we just focused in on it. And then the 25th anniversary production uh -huh. that was done in England. And we have the DVDs for both of those, and we must watch them at least once a month. And it's just an absolutely relaxing time. The, the acting is tremendous. The music is so inspiring. And uh -huh. What really, one of the things that I take away from that is that quote at the end of the production where it says, the truth has been spoken. To, to love another person is to face, see the face of God. And whenever I hear that, it absolutely, or we hear it, absolutely brings us to tears. It's just such a, an inspiring quote that you just have to live by it. It's, it's just, a great quote. And especially when you love somebody so much and you really feel that it's, it's so inspirational. It, no, that is, that's absolutely beautiful. It really is. And in terms of, um, you said um, you had children and then you adopted with your second marriage. Yes, yes we, we, uh, my first marriage, we had two sons. They're in their 50s now. Uh -huh. Um, one is a painter and one is a nuclear physicist uh -huh. and one's in Ohio unfortunately so I don't get to see him all that often but when they get together they play music together and they sing together and it's just so exciting to listen to them they they feed off each other you see the the joy and the excitement of of them singing and it's something that I've I've seen with people who do music for a long time that they get into it and they just absolutely love it and mm -hmm. you can see the joy on their faces when they're doing it. It's, it's incredible to me. And what you've shared, you can see the joy on your face. <laughs> well, Are you having a better time than them? <laughs> well, sometimes it seems like I am. They're doing all the work. We're just sitting there listening and enjoying them, and it's really terrific. No, I, I, I can imagine. Mm -hmm. um, what kind of music do they play? Well, they have popular music, um, you know, Sinatra and rock and different uh, Ray Charles, any broad spectrum of music that they play. They both play guitars, and actually, my younger son Tony plays a harmonica while he's playing the guitar, and, wow. and he sings. And so it's, you know, it always amazes me that he can do two two different things at the same time. Mm -hmm. But then he's a nuclear physicist, so I guess it makes wow. it easier for him. How yeah. that's that's absolutely amazing. <laughs> yeah. Well, you'll, you'll have to, and they perform in. Uh... Well, they 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 do a lot of performing in Peekskill. Okay. Um, the uh, the Peekskill Coffee House and Twelve Grapes and all any place in Peekskill and a lot of places in Croton and then they go up to Car uh, to um, Cold Spring and they play at Whistling Willies and you know you can you can find them on Facebook almost any place they're just really they're getting into it very much and enjoying it so much uh -huh. it's just great for them it's that's great. and and people seem to terrific. enjoy it and it seems as though each time they go to the same place there are more and more people coming so. The word is getting out that these guys are pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to know. I'd like to go and 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 see them play. Abs absolutely. The next time they're going to be in Peekskill, or maybe just Joe, because Tony doesn't get here all that often. Yeah. It's a long way from Ohio, but the next time yeah. Joe's in Peekskill, I'll certainly let you know. I would like mm -hmm. to. Yeah. It's always wonderful to to hear some great music. It is. <laughs> so, like I said, I, I've known you for for some time. I see you at Master Network Bedford as in <laughs> Yorktown, and and you get up early and just get out there to try to share. What what words of wisdom would you share? That's so important, Joe. You've had such an amazing life and done s s tremendously so many wonderful things. Well, I, I think the most the most important thing really is to, to 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 live life. Just have an idea what you want to do and go and do it, and don't be afraid to make a mistake. As long as you're as long as you're a gentle person, you're not going to hurt anybody with with what you're doing. Just go out and do it, and you never know what's going to happen tomorrow. You may not be here, so while you have the time, go out, do what you have to do and try to make an impression on the world, try to help people. That's really the important thing. You know, I do, I do taxes and I do accounting and sure, it's my business, but I'm trying to help the people run their business, so run it productively, mm -hmm. run it profitably. And these are really the things that I can offer to people. Yeah. 
A and lot of people do taxes, so I don't know if everybody does it the way I do, but I want people to succeed. And obviously, if people succeed, they'll be clients for a longer time. And, mm -hmm. But more important than that, I want them to succeed. And even if they wind up going someplace else, at least I've done something to help them get started and help them continue. That's a, a wonderful way to look at things. I know uh, with the complications just in general of taxes, that's your expertise. But um, you say things simply and succinct that make an impact and, and, and make it appear to be so much easier to understand and comprehend. Well, and taxes like are a pretty difficult subject, so I try to make it simple. For mm -hmm. I know obviously a lot of people don't have the training mm -hmm. and don't have the understanding, so if I can simplify it for them so they can understand it and incorporate it in what they're doing, I think I've been successful in what I'm trying to do. That's mm -hmm. absolutely mm -hmm. fantastic. So what's next for Joe? Oh, what's next for Joe? There's, I don't know. There, there are a few things that, that I would like to have more time to do myself. I like to bowl. I like, I'm like. i a target shooter. I've been a target shooter for a long time. I'd like really? to do that again. I like to play golf. Although I have to say golf is not relaxing. The way I play, it's <laughs> very unrelaxing. Running around back and forth trying to find the ball. <laughs> but, but I would like to have really more time for my wife and I to spend time doing things together away from the house and, and, and getting out and enjoying ourselves. That's, so. no, that's absolutely fantastic. So we're just ready to wrap up. Okay. Um, and I wanted to know if you want to share anything last with my viewers. Well, well, again, it's the most important thing I think is don't be afraid of life. Go out and do what you do and do it to the best of your ability. You will affect people. You will make them realize who you are and what you're trying to do. And if you just sit back and let life pass you by, it will pass you by. And you'll just dissolve into nothingness. So go out and do it and don't be afraid. That's really what I think is the most important thing I can say. Thank you so much. That's so valuable. That really, uh, it's, uh, you're so inspirational. Thank uh, you. Thank you so much for being here, Joe. Thanks for having me. I really do appreciate it. Oh, it's my pleasure. Eat well, feel great. You want to do this for the rest of your life. Remember, balance and moderation is key. Have a great night. Thank you so much for joining us.